Danny, four wins out of four. You guys are flying. Yeah, another win here at the beautiful Trent Bridge. Um, yeah, I think credit to our bowlers who bowled exceptionally well on that wicket. Um, Marie Kelly batted really well for them. Um, I thought they were uh, going to get a really big score then. So I think we pulled it back really well. Um, and yeah, we knew it was a good wicket, a bit of bounce, um, cross seam balls especially. And yeah, just came off for me today and really, really happy to contribute to another win. You mentioned Marie Kelly there, 36 yeah. of just 12 balls. She really got them away like a train, didn't yeah, she? she did. She's a fantastic batter, Marie, um, especially in the T20 format. I like the way she goes out there with great intent. Um, luckily, she miscued one and we, we took her wicket. And yeah, with bowlers just managed to keep the foot on the pedal and uh, get them out for a, for a low scoreish. They lost wickets there in the middle, didn't they, which really set them back? Yeah, they lost three wickets in the middle and never really got going, never could build a big partnership. Um, so, yeah, credit to our bowlers again, who've been outstanding throughout this tournament. Hopefully they can keep it up for the, for the rest of the season. Did you always feel 141 was way below par? Um, yeah, I mean, if we batted first, we would have looked to get 160, I think, on that wicket. It was fast outfield as well. Um, and, yeah, we just spoke about, you know, just playing proper shots on that wicket. Um, and, yeah, just... You know, targeted my bowlers and um, back to my strengths today. I was going to say 76 off just 44 deliveries. You were striking it really well, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really ever feel in. It was, I don't know, like the girls said it was a good wicket and it was a good wicket, but there was a little bit in there just back of a length. Um, so it was just a matter of getting behind those, getting singles and capitalising on anything full, uh, making a bit of room for myself because I like hitting through the offside. Um, and taking down the spinners was my was my plan today. I know you like to go aerial quite a lot, but there seem to be a lot of shots you hit in the air today, but quite deliberately targeting <laughs> the gaps, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think I need to keep it on the floor <laughs> a bit more. But yeah, it's T20 cricket, you know, you've got to be brave, show intent um, and be smart at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, you've just got to go out there and back yourself and believe. 100 for England in the World Cup during the winter in Christchurch. Runs here as well. The internationals coming up. Have you felt in good form literally for the last few months and going into these internationals? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm working hard in the nets. I've literally had two weeks off after the World Cup. Went straight to Dubai for the fair break tournament and did well out there. Um, obviously different conditions to what we have here in England. Um, but yeah, I think it's just taking each game as it comes. Uh, preparing well, planning well. Just keep my head down and score runs for whoever I'm playing for. And just, you know, we've got a really busy and exciting summer ahead um, with Southern Brave, with England, with Vipers. And, yeah, it's all about, it's all about keeping fit and uh, just enjoying myself and, you know, enjoying being in the company of these legends. Very quickly, I had a quick look before I came down. I couldn't find it. You must have played here before for England? No, I've never played here for England. Uh, played here in the 100 last year and, yeah, this is my second time playing here. So... Yeah, what an opportunity, you know, for myself and the rest of these girls to play at a fantastic ground like Trent Bridge, and it's not far from my hometown, Stoke, as well. <laughs> home, home game for me. Just a final one. Old Trafford's as well coming up. Another big ground mm -hmm. against the Diamonds. I mean, you virtually sealed qualification for the finals day. By that, you know, by next Wednesday, you should have got there if you win. Yeah, um, I don't really know what the qualification points are. I was just I just turn up and try and do well for my team, but. Um, yeah, I think we'll go up there. Another fantastic ground to play at, um, at Old Trafford. And obviously we want to win and try and get the bonus point as well and hopefully go straight to the final.